Welcome back. Let's take a look now at rehearsals and preparations that have been underway for days in France ahead of Bastille Day. Soldiers from Japan and soldiers from Singapore marching with French soldiers to practice for tomorrow's military parade. But hey, you don't have to hop on a flight to celebrate. There's a big Bastille Day celebration happening downtown. Some of the food you'll find there at Jameson Square. Dominique Jelen of St. Henri is here to give us a rundown of the events happening at Jameson Square from noon to six tomorrow. This has to be an important day for you. Absolutely. Bonjour. Yeah. Now, why do we celebrate Bastille Day? Uh, well, you know, this has uh, been a long tradition to celebrate the French revolutions, but today it's more about another excuse to celebrate in France. <laughs> yeah, yes. <big> party. Yeah. <laughs> I like parties. We don't yeah. need much of a reason to celebrate. So. Um, how about here in Portland? What kind of celebrations do we have going on here? So this is tomorrow with the Alliance Francaise on Jamison Square. It's a, a repeat of a French tradition of what we call the Carmes, and, and it's a big place where a fair where everybody comes and enjoys. They can eat, they can listen to music. There is going to be all sorts of attractions. And we at Santa Honore are going to have our samples of displays that we have here of products that we're going to be offering. And always activities for the kids. Absolutely. Face painting and yes. dancing yes. music. So what are we going to be serving up there, Dominique? So the traditional French pastries, the petit pain au chocolat, the almond croissant, the uh, strawberry rhubarb tart, the chocolate gâteau, but we also have the traditional sandwich. Le Sandwich Parisien, ham and cheese. This all smells amazing, by the yeah. way. <laughs> a ham and cheese, it sounds so much better when you say it. Say that again. <laughs> Fromage, jambon, ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> but you call it like the Parisian sandwich. Parisien. Parisien. <laughs> so much more classy. <laughs> if I just walk up and I say, I'll take a ham and cheese or one of the there almond you ones, you're still going to serve me up? <laughs> or just grab a whole baguette and just eat it on the lawn with a bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, that sounds fantastic. So um, who kind of you know, comes behind and supports this celebration. We have the French Alliance of Portland the and then French businesses. The French Alliance and, and all the uh, other vendors and the French American International Schools. And uh, yeah, so that's all together about 30 vendors. 30 vendors, be there. Well. Speaking of vendors, there's one thing that I was curious about and saw this and had to know more about, but there's a waiter race? There's going to be a that? waiter race, and you're all invited to come and participate. Look at that, it's, it's a la course <laughs> des garçons de café. Yes, and you have to go around with a platter that you hold in one hand uh -huh. and a couple of glasses of wine, and you have to race around. And the one that comes back the first with the most liquids left in the glass is the winner. Oh, can you give us any <laughs> secrets as to how they steady that and move quickly? Um, have you had you to do can, it before? You can drink a couple of wine glasses before you do the race. Oh, okay. <laughs> Liquid courage is what you're saying. <laughs> That's the warm-up, a couple of glasses of wine. Yes. Well, Dominique, always a pleasure to see you and just Likewise. a wonderful spread you've brought here from St. Henri. Now, you serve this on a regular basis at how many oh, locations? Uh, four locations Four now. locations, yeah. one of yeah. the favorites in yeah. the Portland area. We